I want to give you a real behind the scenes candid look at some of what makes me tick that strips away the projections of me being more competent than I probably actually feel. Um, this goes back to about a year ago. I was in rehab for drug addiction. And when I got out, I was ready to be clean of drugs. But three days later, my grandmother had this combination of a mini stroke with uh, a very low diabetic sugar crash and she also had an infection that had gotten bad and she didn't know about it and it just created like this perfect storm of conditions that put her significantly out of commission and they would not release her from the hospital unless she had someone willing to be there 24 hours a day. You know, like to constantly have someone there. And so what I always tell people is I stepped into that role. Um, and that's true. But something that I leave out is that before I went to rehab, I had moved in with my grandmother because I was homeless and she was the only person in my life that was willing to put a roof over my head. And so I, I really needed her. And after her stroke, in my new mindset, clean of drugs, I wanted to, I wanted to be more responsible and I wanted to put someone else's needs just as important as my own. And I wanted to be of service. I wanted, the way I always put it is, I wanted to get out of my own way. And my grandmother is someone that has always put herself aside for other people to the point where most people don't know what she's carrying around with her because she doesn't complain and she doesn't take her negative feelings out on other people. And she's a very inspiring person in that way. I don't know exactly how she does it, but I try to be more like that myself. But I've heard her say so many times throughout my life that she wants to die in her own home. And I feel like somebody that, that has lived the life that she has lived deserves that. So yes, I have often left out that I've needed her as much as she needs me. Um, but I've come to this point as I've been building myself, using this opportunity to build myself into the person that I couldn't be before because I neglected to develop myself. I, I neglected to develop the skills and change my mindsets in ways that were productive. So I've been doing that and I've reached a point where and I'm getting closer and closer to it. I can, I can feel this process happening where I will become self-sufficient while I'm still here. And then I'll choose to stay here because I believe that that is the right thing to do. And that's not something that I do begrudgingly. And I'm up for the challenge of becoming self-sufficient and then using the opportunity to be here to save money for my future while I take care of someone that has taken care of me in amazing ways in my life. And I've told her that if I ever leave here while she's still alive, it's going to be after she looks me straight in the eyes and tells me that she wants to go to assisted living. And she's going to have to make me believe her. I don't know if that's possible. But that's the only way I'm leaving. <laughs> 
but I just wanted to get real about that because I never, I didn't mean to hide that from people, but I think, I think I've been, I've been ashamed and I'm not, I'm not ashamed, not anymore.